right there. Just like that. And you know as a batter, the ball's looking to hit the splice of the bat. The extra zip that he gets. Seen that from other bowlers in the competition. Gus Atkinson as well, a very springy type of bowler. Gets through the crease quickly. Yeah, 85 miles an hour as well. Brand new ball. Any sort of movement is lethal. I mean, you get other surfaces and there isn't perhaps that that movement and because of his lack of bounce and height you can kind of hit through the line a bit but he gets it going a bit very tricky indeed i watched him in, in an odi series in pakistan on some of the flattest pitches imaginable and even then just banging away full length hitting the top of off stump And he's just done exactly that for three deliveries in a row. And Harry Brook unable to come up with an answer in terms of run scoring because of that length. He does guess it. You doubt yourself as to whether going down and over the top, down the ground and over the top is a good option just because of the length of the bowls. Well, that's raced away, extra pace, just a, a fine edge off the bat of Harry Brook, and he's off the mark. So 30 balls done, 21 on the board. Oh. Shot, that's coming our way, and that was a cleaner strike as you will ever see. And it's come off the bat of Harry Brook, an excellent way to finish those five deliveries. Well, Harry Cherrington Brook just showing why a lot of people are stunned that he doesn't find his name in England's ODI squad for the New Zealand series. Nobody has managed to find the middle of the bat. Harry Brook does. A bit more pace now, Lockie Ferguson the attack here and Matt Herenry have come in to replace Pakistani duo who set the competition alight earlier in the tournament Shaheen Shah Afridi and Harris Ralph wait, 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 wait. Stephen Finn that uh, was a equating him to some sort of downhill skier when he's got the sunglasses on. I, re I reckon he might be in Cobra Kai, you know, the karate dojo from the karate kid. Not to mention the shoes. Check these out. Outside edge, we'll race away, slip, not in place. We are out of the power play. Well, Brooke only knows one way from here, and that is to counter-attack. Bit of width was the uh, thing that he had in his favour there. Not in control, but ball flashed away. Look at those wheels. Good reply. A bit of a tighter line. Suits him, though, I reckon, Butch. Uh, you've got to be able to carry it off, haven't you? Dropped his hands on it, Harry Brook. Only there, so out in there, deep doing the work. And Harry Brook just getting into his work and been treated to probably the shot of the day so far from Harry Brook. Straight down the ground. Such a clean, crisp strike. We're in danger for a moment.
And again, this time not in control. Johnny Besto interested for a while, but it's gone all the way. Perhaps he was in control of it, Butch. This is an astonishing shot. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. He's touched with a bit of genius, Harry Brook. Ball got big on him. Lockie Ferguson cannot believe that he's just been hit for six from that delivery. That was sensational from Brook. Yes. And again, straight down the ground. There is a player who's trying to settle underneath it, but it continues to sail over the boundary rope. So Harry Brook, he looks like he's having a good time. Well, maybe he feels he's got a point to prove. Not sure that he does, really. Yes. Just kept his head down there. It wasn't quite at the pitch, but trusted his hands and banged it back over. Shortish boundary straight here at Henley down the hill. Oh! Going down. to mix up his pace the van der Merwe. back on strike now ah! yes! he works that one past mid on down to the boundary for four he needs to face more a perfect example of why he should be getting on strike she used the pace of david payne ah! found the gap between mid wicket and mid on Feel like that length is not the plan with this field. Back of a length they're looking at, I think. More there. Use that boundary rider or the boundary riders that are out on the offside. You've got deep third, backward point, long off in place as well. Backward square and a fine leg. So that says it's got to be back of a length, Kate. Yeah, that was the length that David Payne was looking for. Just a little bit of width. Here we go looking up. Harry Brooks, sixes. That was a ridiculous shot. It's deep in the crease, swings that one away down towards Lockie Ferguson, who just hesitates momentarily. And quick and into the surface, though. Yeah, Luke Wells often gets a little bit more bounce from the height that he bowls from. Good. Not sure he saw him coming or not, but just pulled that length back. <coughs> Another opportunity, is it? No, it's in the gap. It's around nicely, does Willie. Come back for a comfortable couple. Again, good fielding out on the boundary between Phillips and David Villey. It's uh, Villy with a W. This <laughs> <laughs> worked into the onside. Might push for two, and they will. Good running. Visa gets back well. Straight down the ground for half a dozen. That is a wonderful strike. Just so smooth, isn't it? Just wonderful foot movement. Beautiful swing of the bat. Head over the ball. Any young kids out there, watch this. All Van der Merwe can do is put his hand on his hips and watch that sail over his head. Can't get it wide. The yeah! man at uh, extra cover. Well, if Van der Merwe is excited. 
More pressure on Harry Brook, who's just losing partners left, right and centre here. Oh, yeah, this is good balling, bringing his experience into play, balling full. Very good half century this from Harry Brook. Came in when three wickets had gone very quickly. But he's played a blinder here. 50 from just 24. And he's taken the fight to the opposition. I think when you saw that Harry Brook was left out of the England squad, the first thing I thought was that's going to give Harry Brook a, a lot of fire in his belly to go on and, and be dominant in this competition. This was... Oh, so 80 balls have been bowled, 99 for seven. has played nicely today Harry Brook particularly down the ground over half of his runs coming in that region a couple of big blows as well that cleared the ropes gets himself in such good positions saw that deft touch as well just running it down to deep third as well the extra pace of Lockie Ferguson So 99 for seven. Oh, we're early, we're early. Luke Wells continuing. He's bowled uh, 10 balls for 12. He's done a pretty good job up to now. Oh, where will Brook go? It's pulled away and pulled hard into the gap for four. Yeah, clinical from Harry Brook, dragged down from Luke Wells. To be able to have in your mind where you're going to put the bowler's bad delivery. It's always so important to be able to split those two fielders out on the leg side. And just to get enough of it. It's good batting. Again, goes down the ground, another six. Well, he's targeting the right areas, he's putting the bowlers under pressure. You know Luke well senses he's going to go down the ground, so he dropped the first one short. Here, try to bowl full, just overcooking it. A stop edge, over a short fine. So a boundary, a six and another boundary. And suddenly a momentum shift. There's David Payne at short five, probably one of the taller players on the ground. It's just gone over the top of him. This time Luke Wells dragging it down the leg side. A bit of a free hit really for Brooke. Oh, wow. And cut away this time. Again, fabulous bit of placement. Three boundaries and a six in the set. Still one ball to go. He's doing it on his own. Yeah, we're seeing his full repertoire this evening from Harry Brook. Seeing him hit straight down the ground, but on this occasion, just good feet. Gave himself a bit of space, opened up the blade of the bat. And he scrolled all around the dial. Catch. So 85 balls have been bowled. There's 15 remaining. It's 118 for seven. Oh, he's picked it away on the onside and finds the gap again. Two men in the deep, and he's split them. 
Yeah, if anyone was going to cut this off, it would have been Glenn Phillips, who was racing round. We're the quickest cricketer around at the moment, but the ball just continued to go away from him. Nice piece of timing from Brooke. Just the single. And this is magnificent batting. 76 from 33. 10 balls left, 128 for seven. So Lockie Ferguson into the attack. This is a very good recovery from the Northern Superchargers. They were 33 for four after 28 balls. Now they're 128 for seven and 10 to go. And it will be Brook on strike. Now will he try and use the pace of uh, Lockie Ferguson? Third man up, fine leg up. Targeting the Western Terraces there. Don't show the pain. That's what they teach you as a youngster growing up. I don't think Harry Brook has got any sort of protection. It would have definitely hurt or at least stung. Magnificent striking from Harry Brook. True professional. Whether you were keeping your eye on the ball, I definitely wasn't. I knew it was coming our way, but what another excellent strike from Harry Brook. Uh, Kate had a great chance to catch it. <laughs> uh, misses it. What an innings, what entertainment he's given the crowd here. When wickets were falling around him single handedly, he's taken uh, superchargers to 136. You can see exactly what he was trying to do. Anything on it would have been four runs, so wouldn't have mattered. Let's just have a look at the professional here, Kate Cross, who is in our pod this evening. Any danger? Straight for us, Ravi, you are brilliant. Very professional, continued com to commentate on it. It, it sure <laughs> was coming. <laughs> it was coming this way. Now, there's 95, five balls remaining. 83 Brooks. Again, he was targeting the straight boundary. He wants to. Gets four. 87, even 100 on the cards. Yeah. Three big strikes. They've gone for pain for these last five deliveries. They've got other options, which they decided not to turn to. Henry, David Willey. They've gone David Payne. Oh, sliced away. That's racing into the fence. He's into the 90s. 91 from 39. And he's blazed away this evening. Nine boundaries, six sixes. Striking at 233. And he's in that mood where anywhere he hits the ball, generally it finds its way to the boundary. Just skillful there from Harry Brook, just opened the blade, feet nowhere near the ball, but just trusting his hands. 
three balls left. 91 Brook. Still around the wicket, Bain. That's up in the air. Will land safely. And he's gone through. to go well the crowd have been pretty quiet for the majority of the innings but they're just starting to come alive and that misfield there no one likes to see that but they certainly enjoyed that mainly because it's taken harry brick on to 95. there's a buzz around the ground Taken the superchargers past 150. Well, Head and Lee have just erupted to give a huge round of applause for a magnificent innings. Harry Brick has been dropped from the England side. He wasn't picked. So what a way to answer any questions about his ability, his talent, and the quality of player that he is. Yes, there's uh, never doubting his talent. That's the best thing he can do. Keep getting runs and keep getting runs in this fashion. Swings again. In the gap. Another boundary to finish off. What a set that is. 4-4-4-6-4. Four, 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 four. 22 off the last set. He runs off the field now in a little while to a standing ovation. You can see the entire Welsh fire team coming out there to congratulate him what do you say Lydia 105 of 42 and he single-handedly got the northern superchargers into a possible winning position it's a must-win game for them they have to win by a big margin but all of that aside we have just witnessed a phenomenal innings from Harry Brook